Hey everyone, this is Andrew Ty. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to install a custom OS using a MacBook computer and get a custom OS working on the RG Nano. So this is going to replace the stock firmware of the RG Nano, the Funky S, and it's going to have several benefits, including 60 hertz frame rates, better emulators, and a user interface that is also a lot prettier as well. And I'm going to show you the entire process using a Mac computer. All we need to do is do we need a micro SD reader, which I'll leave a link to in the description. I want to use a piece of software called Bellina Etcher in order to complete this process. So the first thing we need to do is to take out the SD card. So the micro SD card is on the side here. And this one is the a generic no name 64 gigabyte SD card here. And uh, we need to plug it into our Mac. So I've got a USB hub here and we're just going to plug this into this particular hub. So I quite like this hub. This is the Ugreen 4K 60 Hertz hub with a USB-C end. This will plug quite easily into my Mac. Once we've plugged that, I'm going to go ahead and install a piece of software called Balina Etch. What I'm going to do is leave a link in the description for this website, etcher.balina.io, hashtag download etcher. And it's going to be the download section of the website. So I'm going to click on download etcher here. And it's going to scroll us down into this set of assets. So we're going to be using the macOS version of etcher. So just go ahead and click download on the right hand side of that row. And then we're going to download this file, which is a DMG. And then what we're going to do is to download a disk image that we want to use. So this particular one that I'm using is the funky OS one, which has been modified by a person called drum 78. And I'll leave a link to this GitHub page. What we need to do is go to the releases section here. And then this is the custom OS for Funky, Q36 and RG Nano. So here we're going to be selecting the RG Nano image. So this is for the RG Nano device only. We're going to be flashing this using Bellina Etcher. So we don't have access to Win32 disk imager on Mac OS. We're going to be using the Bellina Etcher instead. So these other versions of the firmware are not used for upgrading from the stock Funky OS. So we need to flash this from scratch. So we're going to be downloading the drum RG Nano.img, press save. And both of those files are ready now. So within the finder downloads, we're going to double click on Belina Etcher.dmg. Then we're going to drag and drop this into the applications folder. Once that's done, we can go ahead and go to applications and then scroll until we find Belina and then double click on this. Here it's saying it's an app downloaded from the internet or we should want to open it, press open. Now Belina is open. What we're going to do is click flash from file and I'm going to go to the downloads folder. I'm going to select the IMG that we downloaded earlier. This is one for the RG Nano, press open and we need to select a target now. So I've plugged in an SD card into my USB hub and plug this into my Mac. So I'm going to make sure that this is mounted. We can see under no name, we have an SD card here. So what you can do if you wanted to is to make a backup of this. However, I'm not really interested in keeping any of the included ROMs because a lot of them aren't the kind of thing that I want. I want to make a custom list for myself. So basically, I'm quite happy to delete all of these. What we're going to do is click select target. And now we're going to select our SD card that we've connected up. I have two SD cards connected to my computer at the moment. And this is the one I want. This is the 64 gigabyte one, which I have inserted. And we have other disks too, which we're going to ignore. We're not going to use any of those. So just make sure that you have the correct SD card selected. And I'm going to move this and I'm going to select this one and press select one. And just be aware, everything that's on that SD card is going to be completely erased. So if you have any data you want back to, make sure you do a backup before you click the flash process. I'll click flash now. Here, Belina Etcher is saying that we need privileged access. In order to complete this process, type in your computer's password. Press OK. Now it's starting the process. Here it's saying that Belina Etcher would like access to removable volumes. Press OK. And now it's going ahead. It's going quite fast. Validating. And now that's done. So here it's saying the disk attached is not readable. We're going to ignore this. It's saying flash completed. And we are done. So if I go back to Finder, what I'm going to do now is just check that this is working. I'm going to take out my SD card and then pop back in. So what I want to do is to put the SD card back into the RG Nano. So I want to pop this SD card back in, make sure it clicks back fully. You can hear that click. Then I want to turn this on. So here, Drum 78s Custom OS. It's doing a format of the USB partition. It's copying various files, etc. Anyway, that's how you get it all working. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.